Hello, dear viewers. Thank you so much for joining me for your daily tarot reading. I always ask you to choose the stone that draws you, the one that resonates with your intuition, your magical intuition. And we'll begin. For those of you who chose the gold stone, the orange gold stone, we have the tower, we have the Queen of Coins. We have the Ace of Coins. Lovely. Well, okay. So we have a tower. But the Queen of Coins is obviously saying, don't worry, you're stable. It may be a tower, but it's not going to ruin the security that you've built. Because you've, all, you've done that. In fact, it may bring in opportunity for money. In fact, it may bring in opportunity for greater health. I, I just like this. I like this. These cards are wonderful. Sometimes you want a tower because it, um, it just changes things enough that you can have movement in a certain area and it might have to do with your finances or your health with these coins. Sometimes you don't know if the tower looks like something. Oh, I don't think I do want that. But then it turns out to be something very good. So I like this reading. It is terrific. Okay, for those of you who chose the lime green, I mean the yellow jade, some lucky jade, we have, oh, two major arcana. Ooh, we have the judgment angel. We have the high priestess. We have the knight of wands. It is a great time for you. When good judgment and intellectual clarity is coming together with the knowing and the, and the intuition, both are very strong. Not only do you know within yourself, but you have angelic help. You have help from the divine, whatever that may be to you. In clarity and decision making. So it may be a time when you see things really just quite crystal clear. And the Knight of Wands is... You move forward and maybe, maybe you don't know exactly where you'll end up. Maybe you're just, maybe it's not a, a complicated plan. It's just, I know I have to move in this direction. So you're going to have good energy for that. And you keep on going in the right, in the direction you're going in. Because this is obviously saying you're going in the right direction. Sometimes we do need that reassurance when we're in the middle of something. You know, the night is not there yet. And <laughs> sometimes it's Knight of Wands. And also he is the Knight. So he will take um, orders. But now with the High Priestess and the Judgment. I was saying with the High Priestess and the Judgment card, the orders would be from the inner self, from the divinity within. And so it would be intuition and it would be clarity and good judgment. It would be moving forward in that direction. So it makes sense. It makes sense to your mind. It makes sense to your intuition. And this is just encouragement to keep going in the direction you're going because it's right. So that's a lovely set of cards. For those of you who chose this Madagascar agate, we have, uh, we have the six of coins, we have the Seven of Cups. We have the Six of Swords. All right, so these are Minor Arcana. They are, you know, nothing that's a huge deal. But if things have been a little bit difficult lately, it's okay. You're moving into calmer waters and you're bringing that clarity with you. So that is good. You've benefited from learning. The Six of Coins is you may feel like you have enough to give today. And, you know, it doesn't have to be coins. It can be anything material or it can be anything that improves people's sense of security. And that, I feel like, makes you feel good today. That, that sort of um, validates for you that, yes, I am heading into better, better, better waters, heading to the more hospitable shore. I am heading into better prosperity, perhaps. And the Seven of Cups definitely saying, please look forward, it, forward and see the good. Please expect good. Things may not look clear in the future. That's all right. 
build castle and castles in the air don't don't dread and you may be feeling tempted to dread if things have been not so hot in a certain area lately but that's where that's coming from this is saying no look forward and and believe good is coming to you because then you can manifest that and act as if you already have good because that's a that's another way to manifest abundance all right I like those okay for those of you who chose who need a little further clarification with the golden nugget we have the justice card so the justice card tells me that maybe you would you justice has been on your mind fairness has been on your mind and whether that's on a larger scale or whether that's in your life personally the justice card says there is some movement toward balancing things out so it could be a reassurance if you're worrying about social injustice that at least maybe there's a certain situation that's heading in the right direction but this could be about your own life too I like that the woman has a blindfold because if that blindfold was you know it's the impartiality right the blindfold is telling you that maybe it's a good idea to look at the situation whatever if it's in your personal life as if it was happening to somebody else and you were an outside observer what would you see as fair what would you see as unfair and that can sometimes get us some real good clarity that sort of truth that she has that that really is um, helpful it means you're going to be able to see that very clearly today and we have more balance and fairness coming in so that is a nice card well I thank you so much I hope you have a marvelous day we'll talk to you soon bye bye